The story starts with a guy named Kim Han who had just split up with his girlfriend because she cheated on him. Kim Han felt really down because he thought it was his fault that she didn't love him. Later that night, Kim Han had to work late and was feeling tired. His assistant called to remind him about his work and suggested that he should count the stars to stay awake. Kim Han often did this when he had trouble sleeping. Next, the story introduces a woman named Noobda, who works as a sales model and host for a home shopping company. Unfortunately, she often experiences harassment from her bosses, which makes her feel really uncomfortable. One day, while filming, Noobda hurt her wrist when she was hit by some equipment. Thankfully, her colleague Tong Kun, who works as a producer and has a crush on her, came to her aid. He scolded the crew for not being careful and showed concern for Noob Dao's injury. Tong Kun wanted to make Noob Dao feel better, so he decided to sell his car to her at a low price. Noob Dao was touched by Tong Kun's kindness and hugged him to express her gratitude. This made Tong Kun feel even more hopeful about his chances with Noob Dao. The following day, Tong Kun gave his car to Noob Dao as promised. Meanwhile, Kim On arrived home feeling stressed and overwhelmed by his mother's demands. She always wanted him to do things her way, which made Kim On feel even worse. He didn't want to stay at home, so he decided to go to his best friend's house to find some peace. On his way to his friend's house, Kim On encountered a car blocking his path. He shouted at the driver to move the car, but the car didn't budge. Frustrated, Kim On pounded on the car window and asked the driver to move. The driver turned out to be a woman who explained that her baby, referring to her car, had broken down. Kim Han was confused but agreed to help the woman push her car. Despite his efforts, the woman didn't thank him when they finally got the car started. This made Kim Han angry, and he cursed the owner of the car. As Kim Han parked his car and headed towards the mailbox to get his house key, he heard the sound of someone running towards him. He looked up to see a woman approaching him with an umbrella. When she opened it, Kim Han was surprised to see that it was Noob Dao, his old crush from school. Kim Han stared at her in awe as she greeted him and thanked him for his help earlier. Noob Dao explained that her car had broken down and she had gone home to avoid getting wet in the rain. She pleaded with Kim Han not to be angry with her for causing him trouble. Despite her apology, Kim Han couldn't take his eyes off Noob Dao's beautiful face. He never expected to see the person he had admired for so long again. Kim Han remembered his college days, when he used to wear big glasses and had a bowl-shaped haircut. He lost his glasses once, and his vision became blurry. He couldn't find them, but someone took his hand and led him. When the person put glasses on him, Kim Han fell in love at first sight. The person introduced herself as Noob Dao, his senior in college. As a senior, she had the right to give Kim Han a new name since he had lost his name tag. She chose the name Baby Bangs, which stuck with Kim Han for the next five years. Noob Dao gave him a star bracelet as a symbol of their promise to take care of each other. The scene back to the present time. Kim Han wanted to speak to Noob Dao when he saw her, but he hesitated because she didn't recognize him as Baby Bangs. Noob Dao said goodbye and left, leaving Kim Han feeling happy and content. He didn't even realize that he had gotten drenched in the rain. Later that evening, Kim Han asked his best friend if he was ready to be in a relationship again. His friend told him that it was normal to experience heartbreak in relationships and that he shouldn't give up on love. This encouraged Kim Han to pursue a relationship with Noob Dao once again. Kim Han discovered that Noob Dao had become a famous influencer. He watched her promotional videos and followed her on Instagram. Noob Dao also noticed a new follower named Lung Nuet and was impressed by the paintings on their profile. She was surprised to see that it was Kim Han and that he had revived his passion for art. He even wore the star bracelet she had given him back in college. Kim Han sat outside, looking up at the sky and touching the bracelet while he remembered their past together. Noob Dao didn't attend her graduation ceremony and left for Bangkok without saying goodbye to Kim Han. He wanted to give her a farewell gift, but he never got the chance. He looked at a picture of Noob Dao on a billboard and realized that he had changed because he still had feelings for her. He decided to find a way to repay her kindness and make her fall in love with him. In the past, Kim On lacked confidence and motivation. He was also very innocent. However, Noob Dao was always supportive and caring towards him. She taught him about the importance of self-confidence and believed in him. One day, when Kim On was struggling with a painting assignment, Noob Dao helped him understand and encouraged him. She even gave him lunch to make sure he didn't go hungry while he worked on his assignment. Noob Dao also helped her mother sell fans at the mall to earn extra money. She was a hardworking and kind-hearted person. On campus the next day, Kim On eagerly awaited Noob Dao's arrival. He wanted to thank her for her kindness yesterday by returning her spot to eat and sharing the provisions he had prepared. But as time passed with no sign of her, Kim On grew restless and decided to inquire with Noob Dao's friends. They revealed that Noob Dao had to skip college to focus on work, leaving Kim On feeling sad and disappointed. He had been looking forward to spending time with her, and now it seemed like a missed opportunity. From then on, Kim On was determined to get to know Noob Dao better. He began purchasing everything that Noob Dao promoted, hoping to find an opportunity to connect with her. That night, Kim On hopped onto the brand new scooter he had bought from Noob Dao, excited to ride it to her house. As he pulled up in front of her home, the scooter suddenly sputtered and died. 
what bad luck. But just then, Nubda walked out to take out the trash, giving Kimon the perfect opportunity to connect with her. With a sly grin, Kimon called out to Nubda and launched into a playful rant. He pretended to be an angry customer, demanding to know why the scooter he bought from her at the event was already broken. Nubda, eager to help her customer, tried to figure out what was wrong with the scooter while Kimon waited. Kimon revved up the scooter and complained to Nubda that the products she sold were too expensive and not durable. But despite his complaints, Nubda remained patient and listened carefully to Kimon's concerns. After a quick check, she discovered that the problem was simply that Kimon hadn't charged the scooter. Nubda advised Kimon to push the scooter home instead, but he stubbornly refused and insisted on riding it. The two continued to argue back and forth, with Nubda doing her best to explain how to properly use the scooter. But eventually, Nubda grew frustrated and asked Kimon to leave. As Kimon walked away, he felt disappointed and frustrated with himself. He had hoped to impress Nubda by standing up for himself, but instead, Instead, he had only made things worse. He realized that he had been too pushy and had made Noob Dao uncomfortable. It was clear that his approach had backfired, and he had only made things worse. He couldn't help but feel embarrassed as he trudged home, hoping to find a way to make it up to Noob Dao. The next day, Noob Dao was on set filming when her boss began to act inappropriately towards her. Fed up with his behavior, Noob Dao confronted him as soon as the shoot was over. But despite her protests, her boss remained defiant and continued to belittle her. As word of the incident spread online, Noob Dao became the target of cruel comments and criticism from netizens. Meanwhile, Kimon watched in horror as Noob Dao was attacked on social media. He knew he had to do something to help her. His assistant suggested that if he knew the person who was posting the hurtful comments, he should try to talk to them and convince them to stop. At that time, Kimon couldn't get Noob Dao out of his head. As he thought about her, he remembered a dark moment from his past when his so-called friends had used him as a guinea pig to test some painting brushes. Noob Dao had come to his defense then, warning them that Kimon was not to be treated like that. And now, out of concern for him, Kimon had taken to Instagram to issue a warning to others who might try to exploit him. He knew that he wouldn't stand for such treatment, as it would tarnish his good name. But when Noob Dao saw the comments on Instagram, she was shocked to see that someone named Lung knew it had pretended to be wise. Kim Han then DM'd Noob Dao, explaining that he only meant to warn others. However, this made Noob Dao furious and emotional. She saw through Lung Nuid's facade and called him out as a coward for not posting a photo of himself on Instagram. And just to prove her point, she challenged him to meet up in person. Kim Han was taken aback by Noob Dao's outburst. He had never seen her like this before. He panicked and worried about what might happen next. Back to the past, Noob Dao was a strong and fearless person who always fought for justice, not just for herself but for others too. Even when she was still a student, she bravely protested against the seniority system. One day, when all the students were rushing into class, Noob Dao noticed a water bottle sitting there. She was so thirsty, she didn't hesitate to drink from it. Little did she know, Kim Han had secretly left it there for her. He had noticed how exhausted she looked and wanted to help in any way he could. When Kim Han saw Noob Dao drinking from the water bottle, he felt a sense of happiness. He was glad that his small gesture had made a difference for her. As we return to the present, Noob Dao's unwavering commitment to justice in the past has left her unable to tolerate the unjust and untrue accusations hurled at her by online users. Meanwhile, Kim Han lands a new project to create a line of sanitary products. However, he and his assistant find themselves lost and confused at the mall since they don't have girlfriends to guide them in selecting the right pads. In a moment of desperation, Kim Han instructs his assistant to grab every type of pad available. As they approach the checkout counter, Kim Han bumps into Noob Dao. They share a lighthearted exchange about each other's shopping items, and Kim Han seizes the opportunity to ask Noob Dao about the goods she sold on a recent TV show. Noob Dao, with a smile on her face, reveals that she was promoting grills. Upon returning from the mall, Noob Dao, who deeply cares for her brother, is determined to find a way to send her to cooking lessons. She confides in Tankun about her desire for extra income. Meanwhile, as Kim Han paints, he receives a notification about Noob Dao's Instagram post asking for suggestions on cooking lessons. Initially, he considers ignoring it, but his guilt over Lung Nuad's behavior towards Noob Dao the day before prompts him to offer a recommendation. As Noob Dao arrives home, she receives a notification from Lung Nuet, which she gratefully accepts. At the same time, Kim Han hears a notification on his phone and checks it, only to find that Noob Dao has liked his message. He feels a sense of relief, thinking to himself that at least he hasn't been blocked. Feeling overwhelmed and in need of someone to talk to, Noob Dao phones Tonkun to confide in him about her family problems and the criticism she's facing online. However, her conversation is abruptly cut short by the sound of her doorbell ringing, and she hangs up to see who it is. To her surprise, it's Kim Han, her neighbor whose name she doesn't know. He explains that he just bought some grill equipment from her and needs help using it. Reluctantly, Noob Dao agrees to show him how to use it and invites him inside. As she demonstrates how to use the equipment, Kim Han can't help but fixate on Noob Dao. 
In reality, this was his way of getting closer to her. After New Duff finishes explaining how to use the grill, Kim Han realizes he needs to come up with a new plan to spend more time with her. Suddenly, he remembers the banana he had brought with him and decides to use it to his advantage. He insists that New Duff test the grill to make sure it's working properly. Kim Han takes the opportunity to ask New Duff about the online criticism she's been facing, but his question makes Noob Dao feel uneasy and suspicious of him. However, Kim On assures her that he's never been involved in any negative comments. As they talk, they share their thoughts and offer solutions to each other's work-related problems. Kim On even helps explain a woman's menstrual cycle to Noob Dao. In return, Noob Dao asks for his opinion on a sales event she's been promoting, and Kim On suggests an idea that helps Noob Dao see her show in a new light. Eventually, Noob Dao realizes that they've been talking for too long and politely asks Kim On to leave. As Kim On prepares to leave, he introduces himself as Kim. Noob Dao smiles and finds him charming, telling him that she's glad to have a neighbor named Kim. Kim Han gives Noob Dao a burned banana as a symbol of their newfound friendship. Thanks to Noob Dao's guidance, Kim Han's project becomes a success and gains popularity. Similarly, Noob Dao proposes a new idea to her boss after getting input from Kim Han, but her boss threatens to fire her if it doesn't work. To increase sales and keep her job, Noob Dao decides to accept the challenge and comes up with a new concept to promote her products. She invites Tong Kun to accompany her on a site survey, but he uses the opportunity to ask her out on a date. At the next meeting, Noob Dao is surprised to see Kim Han as her new work partner. She approaches him, and Kim Han jokingly introduces himself as Kim's partner instead of Kim neighbor. Noob Dao laughs and agrees with his humor, shaking his hand. Meanwhile, Tong Kun feels jealous seeing Noob Dao getting along with someone new. Noob Dao practices presenting her product in a new way and posts it on Instagram from the comfort of her home. Meanwhile, Kim Han is delighted as he feels himself getting closer to Noob Dao every day. He quickly comments on her Instagram posts with a smile on his face. One morning, while jogging, Kim Han bumps into Noob Dao and offers her an energy-boosting drink. Noob Dao is skeptical of Kim Han's intentions, wondering if he's just trying to be nice to her. Eventually, Kim Han persuades her to let him join her at work for the day. Tong Kun greets Noob Dao with a cynical look when she arrives at work with Kim Han. As they begin the discussion, Noob Dao suggests a new marketing strategy and Kim Han is captivated by her every word. Tong Kun offers an idea, but it makes Kim Han laugh. However, when Noob Dao elaborates on her idea and business strategy, Kim Han praises her and agrees with her. They tease each other playfully, making Tong Kun jealous. He asks if they know each other from before, but Kim Han says they just became friends and happen to be neighbors who now work together. Noob Dao smiles at Kim Han, and Tong Kun abruptly ends the meeting in annoyance. In the evening, Noob Dao's brother visits and makes her feel disappointed. Overwhelmed with sadness, Noob Dao steps outside to get some fresh air and ends up crossing paths with Kim Han. He's in the midst of breaking up a fight between some children. Noob Dao confides in Kim Han and starts crying. Kim Han wipes away her tears with his shirt and promises to support her whenever she's feeling down. He doesn't want to see her cry anymore and offers to stay with her until she feels better. Noob Dao lets out all her emotions and cries uncontrollably. Noob Dao is getting ready for a shoot, and Kim Han is there to support her. When Min Joon checks Noob Dao's hair, Kim Han accidentally spills coffee on himself after realizing Min Joon's interest in Noob Dao. While cleaning himself up in the bathroom, Kim Han overhears Min Joon talking on the phone about Noob Dao. The conversation raises suspicion about Noob Dao's boss. After the shoot, Noob Dao says goodbye and heads home. Noob Dao and Kim Han leave together, causing Tong Kun to feel jealous. In the car, Kim Han tries to convince Noob Dao to open up about her boss. Later, Kim Han quickly checks Min Joon's profile after they part ways. The next day, Min Joon asks Tong Kun why he was so protective of Noob Dao or if he had feelings for her. Noob Dao overheard their conversation and later asked Tong Kun about it. She concluded that Tong Kun liked her, but he didn't want to tell her about his conversation with Min Joon. Back at the apartment, Tong Kun became agitated at the thought of expressing his feelings to Noob Dao. That evening, Kim Han spotted Noob Dao walking alone in the mall. He quickly moved seats so that Noob Dao could see him and joined her. They walked together until late at night and Kim Han took her to a room with a beautiful view. They counted the stars and shared stories while enjoying each other's company. Kim Han smiled at Noob Dao who eventually fell asleep. As Noob Dao was getting ready for her shoot, Min Joon appeared with a woman and introduced her as the new presenter, who will replace Noob Dao. This news shattered Noob Dao's confidence, and she felt like her job was on the line. She felt disheartened and threatened by the situation. In the past, Kim Han was in a painting room when he saw someone trying to destroy and burn Noob Dao's painting. Kim Han intervened to save it, but unfortunately, the painting was already damaged. Noob Dao suddenly appeared and accused Baby Bangs of destroying the painting. Baby Bangs couldn't explain himself, and Noob Dao left without a word. Baby Bangs continued to repair the painting while Kim Han's friend arrived and was surprised why Kim Han felt guilty about something he didn't do. In the present, Kim Han visited Noob Dao at her house to talk about work. However, he accidentally spilled water on himself, causing his hair to become wet. Noob Dao couldn't help but feel that Kim Han looked familiar. Curious, she fixed his hair, and the two had a moment. Unfortunately, Tong Kun interrupted them and they started discussing their work for the following day. 
The following morning, Nubda was busy showcasing her new marketing strategy to promote her products. It turned out to be a great success as many people started to arrive. From a distance, Kim Han and Tang Kun were watching her. Despite their differences, they both shared a common goal, to support and help Nubda in any way they could. One day, Nubda came back to her hometown to fix her family's financial problems. But when she arrived home, all she could feel was exhaustion and stress. Seeking comfort, she leaned on Kim Han and asked if she could rest for a while. Kim Han was pleased to be trusted by Nubda, and he watched as she went inside to fetch souvenirs for him. It warmed his heart that she had thought of him even in her troubled state. As they ate the food Nubda had brought, Kim Han praised its flavor. Nubda sat contentedly until the sound of the doorbell broke the peace. Outside, she found a package from Kim Han, containing freshly grilled bananas. Smiling with gratitude, she accepted the gift. That night, Nubda enjoyed the food Kim Han had shared with her, but her thoughts were still heavy. She remembered the bet she had made with Min Jun and how it might impact the declining sales of the shop. The next day, Nubda arrived at the office to shoot a commercial for a shatterproof glass bowl. But when she dropped the bowl by mistake, she felt a wave of shock and panic. She knew that her subscribers were watching, and she didn't want to lose their trust. As soon as the broadcast ended, Nubda felt like crying. She felt like her fate was against her. Suddenly, a message from Lung knew it appeared on her phone. He had just bought one of the glass bowls Nubda was selling, and it hadn't broken. Lung knew it suspected that someone had switched the bowl to sabotage Nubda. Hearing this, Nubda's heart began to calm down. Maybe she wasn't the problem after all. Late at night in the exhibition room, Tang Kun suddenly appeared before Kim Han, questioning why Nubda had been so close to him. Tang Kun believed that Nubda had only been close to him for the past five years and no one else. Kim Han just smiled and didn't answer Tang Kun's many questions. But then, things turned physical as Kim Han and Tang Kun fought over a statue of Nubda. Nubda saw the altercation and quickly intervened, telling them why she had come to the exhibition. She then asked the two men if they could give her a ride home. Tang Kun grabbed Nubda's hand and took her away, while she waved goodbye to Kim Han. He just smiled back, silently watching as they left together. The following day, Nubda discussed the previous day's incident with Tang Kun and his team. She shared her suspicion that the glass bowl had been switched out. Later, Nubda called her mother, who was complaining about her brother's need for money. Her mother reminded Nubda that she was the family's breadwinner, which only added to her sadness. But when Kim Han showed up, Nubda felt like she had a friend she could rely on. Kim Han suggested they go out to take Nubda's mind off things, and he even bought her drinks. He wanted to help Nubda forget her problems and do whatever made her happy. As they drank, played games, and sang together, Nubda suddenly broke down in tears while Kim Han was taking pictures of her. She had remembered a very difficult problem in her life. But Kim Han immediately hugged her and comforted her, making her feel like she wasn't alone in her struggles. After Nubda calmed down a bit, Kim Han gave her a jacket and listened as she told him about how her painting had been destroyed and how it had prevented her from finishing school. This made Nubda feel sad again, and she left. Kim Han was also upset because he had been unable to save Nubda's test painting. He chased after her, calling her senior, wanting to tell her that he was the old baby bangs. But Nubda's brother peered and took her away before he could say anything. Back at home, Kim Han couldn't stop worrying about Nubda. So, he sent her a direct message via Loon Nued's Instagram account. He wanted to check on her and make sure she was okay. The next day, Nubda negotiated with Min Jun to keep her job, but he agreed on the condition that she do whatever he ordered. He invited her to a fancy restaurant dressed provocatively, which made Nubda suspicious. She called Tang Kun, but he didn't answer. So she created an Insta story just in case. Coincidentally, Kim Han saw Nubda's story while he was in a meeting with friends. He became suspicious of her boss and immediately left to check on her. When he arrived, he found that Nubda had been drugged and was being harassed by Min Jun. Kim Han fought him off and rescued Nubda, taking her to his house and putting her to sleep on the sofa. As Nubda lay unconscious, Kim Han expressed that he had been waiting for her for a long time and believed that they were fated to meet again. He stroked her hair and kissed her forehead. But when he touched her, Nubda suddenly woke up and grabbed his hand. She noticed the bracelet he was wearing and called him Baby Bangs. The story then flashed back to the past when Kim Han first saw Nubda working as an influencer. He believed that she wouldn't remember him, but he couldn't forget about her. The scene moves back to the present. That night, Kim Han wanted to talk to Nubda, but she revealed that she already knew he was Baby Bangs a few days ago. Her friend had found old photos in his workshop. Kim Han admitted that he felt guilty about Nubda's failed painting, but Nubda told him that she knew it wasn't his fault. She had to leave school to support her family, and someone else had damaged the painting. This made Kim Han feel relieved, and he hugged Nubda. She playfully ruffled his hair and commented on how much he had grown up. When Nubda got home, she smiled to herself as she remembered the moment when Kim Han had kissed her. She realized then that she had feelings for him. The next morning, Tang Kun and Kim Han were both shocked to find that someone else had taken Nubda's position. Kim Han went to Nubda's house to look for her, but only found her brother. She told him that Nubda had gone back to their hometown in Chiang Mai. Kim Han decided to follow her there. When Nubda arrived home, she hugged her mother but didn't tell her about losing her job. 
Her mother assumed she was just on leave. Later, New Da visited her old school and ran into Kim Han. They smiled and greeted each other. Going back in time, Kim Han was elected class president, taking over from Noob Dao. In the present, Noob Dao and Kim Han walked down memory lane, visiting places from their past. They then went on a motorbike ride around Chiang Mai, growing closer as they shared their problems with each other. Later, they met up with friends, but Noob Dao drank too much and Kim Han had to carry her home after repeatedly warning her not to overdo it. As they arrived home, Noob Dao was barely conscious but still teasingly called Kim Han baby bangs and praised him for growing into a sweet and handsome man. However, when Noob Dao tried to kiss Kim Han, she ended up vomiting in his arms. Despite this, Noob Dao was grateful for Kim Han's presence and hugged him tightly. The following day, Noob Dao and Kim Han were planning to go to the mall when they ran into Tang Kun. They ended up chatting at Noob Dao's house, where Tang Kun told Noob Dao that she could work with Min Jun again. Kim Han was against it because he didn't want Noob Dao to be bothered by Min Jun again, but Noob Dao assured him that she could handle it. The following day, Noob Dao went back to work and Kim Han waited for her outside her house in the afternoon. They took a walk together and talked about their past and present. Their bond grew stronger as Noob Dao confided in Kim Han and shared her deepest thoughts. Kim Han, who had feelings for Noob Dao, held her hand and they continued to walk together. One day, Noob Dao's friend discovered that his girlfriend had lied to him about a painting she claimed he had made for him. It turned out that the painting was actually made by Kim Han because he was in love with the painting. The friend confided in Noob Dao and cried about feeling deceived. Noob Dao was upset and confronted Kim Han while he was in a meeting at the mall. She was angry that Kim Han had used a fake name on the painting. Kim Han was sad and wanted to explain, but Noob Dao's emotions were too intense. Later that night, Kim Han came to Noob Dao's house, but she avoided him and refused to look at him. Noob Dao's friend's girlfriend finally clarified the misunderstanding, and Noob Dao felt guilty for scolding Kim Han. She decided to apologize to him and went to his mother's house. Kim Han was surprised to see her there, but Noob Dao talked intimately with his mother and even took her out shopping for jewelry. As they ate together, Noob Dao made a kind offer to Kim Han's mother. She promised to cook delicious food for her and accompany her wherever she wants. Kim Han felt happy that Noob Dao was opening up to his family. He thought Noob Dao didn't want to talk to him anymore, but she explained the misunderstanding with her friend. Kim Han then became playful and affectionate, stroking her head romantically. One day, Noob Dao was kidnapped by Min Jun's men. It turned out that Min Jun wanted to hold Noob Dao responsible for his company's losses. He gave Noob Dao two weeks to comply. The next night, Noob Dao went to dinner at Kim Han's house. She was surprised to see Kim Han and his mother dressed formally. After dinner, Kim Han took Noob Dao to his painting room to help her relax. They painted together and had a happy time. Later, Kim Han took Noob Dao home and said goodnight affectionately. The night was beautiful and both of them smiled, thinking about the events of the day. The next day, Noob Dao was spending time with Kim Han's mother when a woman named Mina arrived. Noob Dao noticed that Mina's hands were covered in bruises and offered to help, but Mina revealed that she was Kim Han's ex-girlfriend. Noob Dao's demeanor immediately changed and she distanced herself from Mina. Kim Han arrived shortly after and Mina hugged him, making Noob Dao uncomfortable. Kim Han asked Mina to leave and rest at home. Kim Han felt guilty about Noob Dao and decided to invite her to eat chicken noodles together. He told her about his ex-girlfriend who had cheated on him and got pregnant with someone else. Noob Dao tried to act tough and even offered to help Mina, but Kim Han asked her not to worry too much about other people. As a promise of their togetherness, Kim Han gave Noob Dao a sacred flower bracelet. The following day, Kim Han went to Mina's house and met the man who impregnated her, leading to a fight between them. Kim Han then accompanied Mina to the police station to report the harassment and violence, but they were not able to do so due to unclear information and personal matters. With nowhere else to go, Mina looked pitiful, prompting Kim Han to offer his house as a temporary place for her to stay until things get resolved. Later on, Kim Han received a call from Noob Dao's friend, who asked for his help in investigating Noob Dao's issues at her office. At night, Kim Han conducted a secret investigation on behalf of Noob Dao, gathering evidence to clear her name. He installed a recorder and infiltrated the office to view CCTV footage and financial reports. Eventually, he found proof that Noob Dao had been framed by the new MC. Kim Han struggled with how to tell Noob Dao, but eventually decided to use Lung Nued's Instagram account to share the evidence with her. Noob Dao was grateful for the mysterious figure who had helped her and gave her encouragement. She even praised Lung Nued's Instagram account as her guardian angel. With the evidence, Noob Dao was able to counterattack Min Jun who had falsely accused her without any evidence. Min Jun was upset that he had been lied to by the new MC he trusted. That night, Noob Dao coincidentally met the new MC who had framed her. Noob Dao was angry and confronted the woman, but the new MC refused to admit her wrongdoing. The new MC then came up with a sneaky plan to bring Noob Dao down. Later, the new MC injured her own head and spread false rumors that Noob Dao was the one who attacked her. While at home, Noob Dao felt frustrated and annoyed after seeing a post on Instagram by the new MC. She decided to go to a cafe to calm down, but the other customers there gave her weird looks. Just as she was about to leave, Mina approached her and asked to talk. 
Mina revealed that she was in love with Kim Han and begged for another chance with him. This made New Da feel sad and disappointed. Meanwhile, Kim Han and his friends came across the new MC's post on social media. Kim Han came up with a plan to kidnap the new MC and force her to apologize and set the record straight. The next day, New Da attended a press conference to clear her name. Min Jun also admitted that New Da was not responsible for the corruption case in his company, but the new MC was. Suddenly, the new MC posted an apology on Instagram, admitting that her accusations against Noob Da were false. All of this was thanks to Kim Han secretly helping Noob Da. Noob Da was surprised, but also felt relieved and happy that her reputation was restored. After the press conference, Kim Han picked up Noob Da on his motorcycle, and they went to celebrate the good news together. On a romantic day, Noob Da and Kim Han spent quality time together. They shared stories, watched fireworks, and made promises to trust each other. After their date, Kim Han invited Noob Da to his house but they found his mother in a panic over a farewell letter from Mina. They searched for her and found that she had attempted the unthinkable but was saved. Sadly, her baby did not survive. Mina wanted Kim Han to be with her at the hospital and ignored Noob Da's presence. Noob Da saw Mina begging for Kim Han to take her back and asked Kim Han to end their relationship to avoid hurting Mina. However, Kim Han refused because he loved Noob Da. In tears, Noob Da decided to let time tell if they were meant to be together. The next day, Day, Noob Dao who had just broken up with Kim Han, met Tong Kun at a restaurant. She shared with him about a mysterious Instagram account called Loon Nua that always helped her. Noob Dao wished to meet Loon Nua to express her gratitude. She even showed Tong Kun the messages she received from the account. Meanwhile, Tong Kun realized that Loon Nua was actually Kim Han, after seeing the CCTV evidence he sent to Kim Han. But Kim Han refused to admit it. Tong Kun kept insisting that Kim Han reveal the truth to Noob Dao. On the other hand, Noob Dao was still missing Kim Han and couldn't stop thinking about the time when he gave her the sacred flower bracelet. She felt sad and longed to see him again. The next day, she went to Tong Kun's apartment and he told her that he wanted to get married. While there, she noticed a photo of herself behind a photo of Tong Kun's parents, which made her realize the true meaning of marriage, to marry someone she loves. Noob Dao confided in her best friend that she's been feeling a pain in her chest lately. Her friend was quick to realize that Noob Dao must be suppressing her feelings for someone and that there's a third party involved between her and Kim Han. New Dao was heartbroken that her relationship with Kim Han has come to an end. Her friend suggested that she should express her true feelings to Kim Han. Mina has moved into Kim Han's house while he has been staying at work to forget his sadness and loneliness. One day, Mina meets Kim Han at his workplace and begins to feel that she won't be able to win his heart. When she asks about Noob Dao, Kim Han becomes silent and leaves. Mina then sees that Kim Han has written that he loves Noob Dao. Kim Han went to visit his mother's house and Mina was there saying goodbye. Mina expressed her desire to meet Noob Dao and thanked her for being kind. She also explained to Noob Dao that love can't be forced. They then parted ways. In the afternoon, Kim Han made his way to Noob Dao's home. As time passed, Noob Dao became increasingly curious about Lung Nuad. She confided in her best friend and they decided to invite Lung Nuad to meet them. Excited by the prospect of finally meeting him, Noob Dao contacted Lung Nuad and arranged to meet him at a cafe in the mall the next day. When Tong Kun heard about this, he was furious. He believed that Kim An had tricked Noob Dao by pretending to be Lung Nuad, the person she trusted the most. Tong Kun went straight to Kim An and hit him, expressing his anger. This incident made Kim An realize the error of his ways. He regretted his actions and reflected on his behavior. The next day, Noob Dao was eagerly waiting for Lung Nuad's arrival at the cafe, but suddenly she received a farewell message from him, and then he disappeared by deleting his Instagram account. Tong Kun, who was watching from a distance, wondered if Kim Han would show up. But instead, Noob Dao's brother arrived. This made Tong Kun think about the past and whether he was the one who pretended to be Lung Nuad all along, someone that Noob Dao admired so much. After Noob Dao talked to her sister, Tong Kun rushed over to her and revealed his true identity, asking her to consider the possibility that he was Lung Nuad. Noob Dao was shocked and disappointed to discover that the person she had been admiring all along was actually Kim An. After the revelation that he was the one Noob Dao had been admiring, Tong Kun quickly grew closer to her and won her heart. Meanwhile, Kim An was planning to meet Noob Dao and finally reveal his true identity as Lung Nuad. However, when he arrived at the cafe, he was shocked to see that Tong Kun had taken his place. Heartbroken, Kim An left the cafe in tears. He couldn't understand why the person he had loved for seven years didn't love him back. His friends tried to console him and advised him to be patient. That evening, Noob Dao grew curious and messaged Kim Han to ask where he had been that day. But Kim Han, feeling ashamed and embarrassed, lied and said he had been at the office finishing a painting. Despite Kim Han's lie, he continued to cry and shed tears of sadness. Meanwhile, Noob Dao couldn't shake off her restlessness as she kept thinking about Kim Han. The next day, Tong Kun asked Noob Dao out, hoping to spend more time with her. Noob Dao wanted to confirm if Tong Kun was really Lung Nuad, so she asked him about the contents of Lung Nuad's first message to her. When Tong Kun's answer didn't match the actual message, Noob Dao was surprised but didn't say anything. Later, Tong Kun tried to kiss Noob Dao, but she refused and told him that she needed time to think. 
She also avoided hugging him. After that, Nu Da met with her best friend and confided in her about what had happened with Lung Nuet. She explained that he had suddenly deleted his Instagram account, but her friend didn't believe it and pointed out that Lung Nuet's account was still active. Nu Da realized that Lung Nuet had blocked her account. They then analyzed the situation and came to the conclusion that Lung Nuet might be Kim On. Nu Da recalled past incidents that proved that Kim On had an Instagram account, fueling her curiosity even more. She decided to find out if Lung Nuet was really Kim On. That day, Nu Da followed Kim On into the elevator and tried to contact Lung Nuet using her friend's Instagram account. But when Kim Han's phone rang and he answered it, Nu Da realized that he was actually Lung Nuet. She was furious that Kim Han had been lying to her all along. As she scolded Kim Han, Tang Kun also confronted him for not being honest with Nu Da. It was then that Nu Da realized that Tang Kun had been pretending to be Lung Nuet too. Feeling deceived by both men, Nu Da was disappointed and decided to leave them both behind. Nu Da quickly packed her bags and left for Chiang Mai. Meanwhile, Kim Han received a message from Nu Da's friend informing him that she had left for Chiang Mai. Tang Kun soon arrived and asked where Nu Da was. Was, but Kim Han was hesitant to tell him. Eventually, he revealed that Noob Dao had gone to Chiang Mai when Tang Kun became insistent. The next day, while gardening with her family in the village, Noob Dao was surprised by Tang Kun's sudden arrival. He came to apologize and try to fix their strained relationship. Noob Dao had lost her feelings for Tang Kun, but he kept pursuing her until she realized who she truly wanted to be with. Meanwhile, Kim Han and his friends were also traveling to Chiang Mai for his painting exhibition. After talking to Tang Kun, Noob Dao went to meet her friend and confided in her about losing her feelings for both Tang Kun and Kim Han. Her friend advised her to take a step back and reflect on herself instead of being selfish. She explained that we all have expectations of others, but Noob Dao must also be compatible with them. Moreover, Nu Dao must remember that those who love her will accept her flaws and imperfections. Hearing this, Nu Dao became emotional and agitated. On the way home, Nu Dao prayed for her birthday and Kim An suddenly appeared and wished her a happy birthday. But Nu Dao was still angry and rejected his apology. She was tired of his repeated mistakes and apologies. Kim An then told Nu Dao that their fights hurt him too. However, Nu Dao didn't want to hear it and kept scolding him, feeling like she didn't need him anymore. Kim An finally accepted that Nu Dao didn't want anything from him anymore. But he couldn't help feeling happy when he was able to wish her a happy birthday, as it had been his dream for a long time. He told Noob Dao that despite her accusations of him lying, he had never lied about his feelings for her. He then asked for permission to drive her home, but Noob Dao remained silent and left. When they arrived home, Kim An stayed with Noob Dao until she went inside her room. He slept outside, while Noob Dao's brother gave him a blanket in the middle of the night. She also informed him that Noob Dao's birthday gift would be rare flowers. Kim Han went back to sleep, anticipating Noob Dao's birthday. The next day, Noob Dao's family was searching for her younger brother Singto. Kim Han woke up and remembered what Singto had said the night before, so he went to the forest to search for him. Unfortunately, the search was unsuccessful and the family returned home in tears. However, Kim Han continued to search for Singto and finally found him. He brought Singto home, and Noob Dao was moved by Singto's determination to find her a special birthday present. Although Kim Han was happy to see Noob Dao happy, he also felt sad because he realized that he was no longer as important to her as before. Eventually, Kim Han decided to leave Noob Dao's life. The next day, visitors came to see Kim Han's painting exhibition and went straight into the VIP room. That morning, Singto found Kim Han's lost bracelet in the forest and gave it to Noob Dao. Noob Dao suddenly remembered her romantic moments with Kim Han and ran excitedly to meet him. But when she arrived, she found Tang Kun waiting for her. Tang Kun asked Noob Dao about her decision, but she gently rejected him, stating that Tang Kun was her best friend who had always been there for her. Tang Kun hugged Noob Dao when he sensed that she would reject him. Noob Dao insisted that they could still be good friends and asked Tang Kun to be happy in his life and work. Noob Dao also revealed that she had quit her job as an influencer. As Noob Dao was leaving, Tang Kun asked to take her home as a farewell gesture. Noob Dao went to an exhibition of Kim Han's paintings and was pleasantly surprised to find that his paintings were all inspired by her. Seeing her own painting being showcased in the star trails on the floor made Noob Dao emotional. She was even more surprised when she saw the painting by Kim Han that he had saved from the past. It reminded her of their beautiful moments together, and she was touched when she saw that Kim An had even added to the painting they created together. Out of the blue, the artist professor arrived and commended Kim An's paintings for their unwavering focus. Nu Da was instantly impressed. Kim An had even crafted a statue of himself when he first saw her, and seeing it made her grin broadly. She then entered the VIP room to meet the artist. In that room, Nu Da acted just as she had during their memorable moment. However, Kim An's expression was unfeeling because he had given up on expecting anything from Nu Dao. 
When she asked who was before her eyes, Baby Bangs or Loong knew it, Kim Han answered solemnly that he was just Kim, nothing else. Finally, Nu Dao realized that Kim Han was truly upset with her and she tried to make amends. She pleaded with him and apologized for her behavior. She knew she had hurt him and regretted her actions. Nu Dao told Kim Han that he could do anything to make it up to him as long as he forgave her. However, Kim Han remained silent. Nu Dao then invited him for a hug, but he refused. Undeterred, she went up to him and embraced him tightly. Kim Han initially resisted, but he eventually relented and hugged her back. Later on, Nu Dao and Kim Han were surrounded by their friends. In front of everyone, Nu Dao finally confessed her love to Kim Han. However, Kim Han's response was still unresponsive. Then, Nu Dao hugged Kim Han tightly and apologized for hurting him. She begged for a second chance, and her sincerity melted Kim Han's heart. From that day forward, they started dating officially. Kim Han had too much to drink and got drunk. Nu Dao brought him back to his house and had a birthday cake prepared to celebrate together. Nu Dao tried to kiss Kim Han, but she hesitated as she feared he wouldn't remember it due to being drunk. However, Kim Han reassured her that he always remembers their special moments, even when he's drunk. Noob Dao was touched by his words, and that night, Kim Han decided to spend the night at Noob Dao's house. The next morning, Noob Dao and Kim Han woke up feeling happy and confirmed that they both remembered the events of the previous night. The Noob Dao family had planned a surprise birthday celebration for Noob Dao, but were shocked to see Noob Dao and Kim Han emerging from the same room. Kim Han felt embarrassed and tried to leave quietly, but the Noob Dao family stopped him and convinced him to stay for the celebration. The next day, Kim Han eagerly presented his artwork to Noob Dao. As they were admiring the paintings, the professor arrived with an unexpected announcement. Kim Han had won the competition and was being offered a work scholarship in France. This was a dream come true for both Kim Han and Noob Dao, but their joy was bittersweet. They had only recently fallen in love and now they would be separated by great distance. Seeing Noob Dao's crestfallen expression, Kim Han took her by the hand and explained a secret. He had registered Noob Dao as his assistant, for she was the true inspiration behind all of his paintings. Every brushstroke was a tribute to her, and he could not imagine creating art without her by his side. Noob Dao was overcome with emotion, realizing just how deeply Kim Han loved her. She was speechless, but her eyes said it all. Somewhere else, Tang Kun was feeling down and decided to bring his furry friend to the office for some company. While there, he couldn't help but notice some new posters advertising Noob Dao had been put up. Tang Kun confided in his friend that he's looking for a partner who shares his love of feline companions. Later, back at his apartment, Tang Kun spotted a neighbor's cat sneaking into his home. He couldn't resist the adorable feline and picked it up to play. But, before he knew it, the cat's owner arrived. She was stunningly beautiful and Tang Kun was immediately smitten. Under the starry sky that night, Kim Han made a life-changing decision. He asked Nu Dao to be his wife, and she accepted with joy in her heart. As they lay side by side, gazing up at the glittering stars, they playfully teased each other, feeling their love grow stronger with every passing moment. The moral learned from this story is don't give up on love and don't let fear or insecurity prevent you from pursuing the things you want in life. Kindness, hard work, and perseverance can lead to success in meaningful relationships.